we are once again uh, kind of democratizing it, simplifying it, letting them focus. Uh, that's what we always talk about, that developers, you know, these companies should focus on their core business, not all this plumbing, you know, because they waste so much resource in all these things that doesn't add any value to their business. So it's like going back to those, you know, that, that, that was the whole idea of running things on cloud is someone else's computer, so I don't have to worry about it, right? But now if you look at, we were at KubeCon, you know, the whole thing is how to manage your cloud. Now, can you also talk about, if you look at this announcement, and if you look at previous announcement, you know, of course, your Kubernetes services, last year at KubeCon, you folks also made a big splash with app platform. Uh, what kind of uh, patterns, trajectory we are seeing at Akamai if you look at this announcement today? So what we see is a range of use cases on the platform. Anything from people who are looking to understand uh, how to develop more modern architectures or satisfy more, more pressing use cases that their customers are demanding using the Akamai Cloud. It's very easy to get started. It's easy to scale up your workload. Uh, and we provide a, a great environment for dev and test because we make it very, very simple to iterate on the platform and have predictable pricing while you're going through that stage of your development life cycle. But if we think about the way that we're architecting the entire platform, our goal is to provide developers with the choice to use whatever services, whatever independent software vendors that they choose are the most appropriate for them. And if they want to use an upstream project on our application platform, they can work that into an automated deployment where they will consistently have the latest version of that upstream project. It will be fully integrated into their Kubernetes environment, and they'll be able to very quickly create that application environment that they need for their application. If we take that a step back and say, you know what, I don't know if I wanna use Kubernetes, I'm not sure what I wanna use, then all of the services that we're offering, all of the projects that we're making available through our one-click marketplace and the independent software vendors that are building out onto our platform, allow you to start to use distributed data, distributed applications, web assembly. If you're interested in doing data and storage intensive workloads or building out new architectures that need to focus there, but everything that we're offering has a very clear price. It doesn't have the complexity of the different ways to meter between traffic between services. You know, if you have uh, scalability events that drive up the use of one service versus another, we make it very easy for developers to understand those dynamics. We make it very affordable for them to figure out the application architecture and how to enable and optimize scalability events. And then with the power of the rest of Akamai's portfolio, we also give you market leading solutions for security. So if you wanna do workload security, API security, full application security, whether that's at you know, layers uh, three or layer seven, you have integrated capabilities throughout the Akamai platform that are all there to minimize the cost of operating your application and to really maximize the ROI that you realize because we're making it much clearer how much you have to invest in our cloud versus how quickly you make it to market and what sort of an outcome you realize from your customer adoption. And so what we're focused on from end to end is basically bringing more ROI to your development uh, projects and make it easier for you to launch and scale applications without worrying that if you need to take advantage of another cloud services or if you want to use another uh, cloud platform, whether it's a platform as a service or software as a service, we are facilitating and making it as easy as possible for customers to evolve their architectures without the concerns of lock-in and without worrying about how, you know, maybe shifting a workload from the Aquamite cloud to another cloud that might be more fit for purpose for a given service is going to jeopardize the agreement that they have or the commitments that they have with us, which is one of the main levers that we see the hyperscalers using to try to basically create a friendly prison for people on their own platforms.